Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. The 16th of October, Monday of the week of Pentecost 20. C.S. Lewis, 1898, 1963. Screwtape, a senior devil, writes to his nephew Wormwood, a devil in training. There is nothing like suspense and anxiety for barricading a human's mind against God. He, watch this line, please. He wants men to be concerned with what they do. Our business is to keep them thinking about what will happen to them. Your patient will, of course, have picked up the notion that he must submit with patience to God's will. What God means by this is primarily that he should accept with patience the tribulation which has actually been dealt out to him, the present anxiety and suspense. It is about this that he is to say, thy will be done and for the daily task of bearing this, that the daily bread will be provided. It's your business to see that the patient never thinks of the present fear as his appointed cross, but only of the things he's afraid of. Let him regard them as his crosses. Let him forget that since they are incompatible, they cannot all happen to him and let him try to practice fortitude and patience to them all in advance. For real resignation at the same moment to a dozen different and hypothetical fates is almost impossible. And God does not greatly assist those who are trying to attain it. Resignation to present and actual suffering even where that suffering consists of fear is far easier and is usually helped by this direct action. The Prayer, George Matheson, 1848-1906. O thou who has taught us to seek first thy kingdom and its righteousness, teach me to say thy will be done before I say, Give me my daily bread. Teach me to accept thy will as the foundation for my happiness and other things as only its superstructure. I am more afraid of the hunger of the body than the hunger of the spirit. Convince me that it would not profit a man to gain the whole world and lose his own soul. Show me that it is only the possession of my soul that makes the possession of the world any gain. Impress me with the truth that no thing can give me joy if I am not already joyful. Inspire me with the knowledge that the issues of life are not from without, but from within. Guide me into the discovery that the pleasures at thy right hand are the only things that are pleasures forevermore. Amen.